If you guys want to say, you I got a little bit. Good morning. Welcome to the 2023 Sedgwick County Law Enforcement Memorial Ceremony. I am Sergeant Aaron Wano, and I will be serving as your host. On behalf of Sheriff Easter, Chief Sullivan, and our command staffs, I would like to start by saying thank you to the families for being here today as we honor and remember our fallen. They served and sacrificed their lives for others, and they will never be forgotten. Their courage and sacrifice have become a legacy that we will continue to pass down from generation to generation. To the many dignitaries, local, federal law enforcement, first responders, military members, and other guests, thank you for taking time out of your busy schedules to join us here today and honor the 34 fallen law enforcement members who made the supreme sacrifice while serving their community. If you would all please stand for the presentation of the colors by the color guard, and it will follow by the Pledge of Allegiance. of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. Please remain standing as we retire the colors. Please be seated for the laying of the wreath and please welcome Sedgwick County Sheriff's Office and Wichita Police Department Honor Guard members. For our invocation, please welcome Wichita Police Chaplain Dave Henyon. Let's come into the presence of the Lord in prayer. Our great Heavenly Father, I come to you this day very honored, Lord, to realize that these men and women put their lives on the line for us. We pray especially, Father God, to know such brave people and to have worked with some of them, Lord. I pray for them, especially their families, Lord. The quiet nights where they used to come in the door or they go out, no longer there. But Lord, because they're by your side and that you have brought such a great host of witnesses, we give you thanks and praise for their blessing to our community. I ask you, Father God, now bring comfort, especially to their families, as they feel the twinge and the pain of sorrow still in their hearts of a missed opportunity. But we thank you also for their bravery of giving us protection in this community. I praise you especially, Lord, and I ask you, God, to bring comfort also to our newest uh, brave person, Sydney. 
on her way to go to a call, getting hit by a, in, by another car, Lord. And I just thank you, Lord, for your bringing comfort to these this family, and that you'll give them the strength as they continue on, as many of these families have move forward, Lord. Just bless us now as we honor and give thanks to their memory. In your name we pray, Christ. And please welcome Sedgwick County Chairman Pete Meitzner. Good morning and uh, thank you. What a beautiful day. What a fantastic gathering. Um, in Sedgwick County, we did do a proclamation for Police Week that was last week. And I'll refrain from uh, reading that. Just want to. Uh, Please allow me, all of you here have probably experienced the loss of a loved one, uh, a family member throughout your lives. These families are very special. <clears throat> My mother was 16 years old, had five older brothers that were fi uh, fighting in World War II. One of those brothers was lost in the Pacific, shot down. His body was never recovered. And I remember growing up, mom never, ever got over the loss of her brother. Carried it with her all her life. Shared that with us growing up. Went to Calvary Cemetery, every memorial. Still go there. I'll go there tomorrow for the weekend. And so, although we've experienced the losses of life, of friends and family, these families are, are true heroes. They're the families of true heroes. And I just want to uh, share that, that I'm, not, I'm not as deeply related as what you are, but I want to share my love and God's blessing for you as you go on through your life. And may God bless the, them as heroes, our city, our county, our state, all the law enforcement, I just want to say a profound thank you to everybody. So thanks for letting me share that story. God bless us all. And now please welcome Sedgwick County Sheriff Jeff Easter. Well, good morning. Uh, today is a lot better day than last year. If you remember when you were here, we were blowing around everywhere and the wreath was flying everywhere. So uh, we're blessed in that sense. We have to remember what we're here for today. Uh, what we're here for is to honor all uh, the law enforcement officers that are behind me uh, with the boots and bronze. That's why we're here. We're also here to honor the families that lost their loved ones in these events. I'm very happy to be able to share uh, a story with you today. Uh, and that particular story uh, is about Deputy Sydney Carter. It's not who she was, what happened, but who she was is what her family wants to share with you today. Her sister Chario wrote this, and so I'm gonna read it verbatim. When Sydney was little, my mom called her scrounge child because she was always going through the trash can. It got to the point we had to put the trash can on a stool so she couldn't reach it. My sister Megan and I would sit at the end of the hallway. We had the reflection of the fireplace opposite of us. We'd call Sydney to run down the hallway and when we saw her get close, we'd stick her feet out and trip her. She kept doing it, though she, she kept doing it, though, uh, so we made a game out of it. I will, I will share with you, I do that to my granddaughter to this day. It's kind of fun. When she was with my dad, my dad managed a bowling alley. She would go reserve a lane to bowl. She'd only bowl a few frames before she found some kids to play with. So she'd stop bowling, just go play with them. She did that as she got older as well. She was never afraid to go make new friends. What I can tell you about Sydney is, is that she came to us and worked in the detention facility. Uh, she was a phenomenal worker for us. And the other thing is, she was a bundle of joy. She was someone that always had a smile on her face, never had a bad thing to say about anybody, and never, ever, once doubted what she was doing this for. She then applied for and became a commission deputy. And this same type of attitude transferred over into the academy and then into the field. 
She was a wonderful, wonderful person. And I know you miss her, and so do we. With that said, uh, again, I want to thank everybody that's here. I want to thank the fact that uh, Chief Sullivan, is this is his first uh, memorial here in Wichita, Kansas. Uh, we've become close friends. We've become uh, compatriots in what we do, and I want everybody to understand that when we talk about law enforcement in this community, it's combined. And we are committed to providing the most ethical, professional law enforcement services in the nation, in this county. So thank you for being here today. And again, to the families, thank you for being here. I know this is tough, but it's a way that we can remember you and your loved one. So thank you. Please welcome Wichita Mayor Brandon Whipple. First, I just want to thank everyone for coming out today and being a part of this ceremony. Uh, it is just uh, overwhelming to be a part of a community uh, that not only uh, talks about honoring uh, the bravest among us who protect our freedoms, uh, but also um, comes out and shows that support, particularly for those families who have uh, just lost uh, loved ones uh, who not only had the heart to serve, but also had, had the courage to protect. Uh, so with that, on behalf of the city of Wichita, I'd like to read a proclamation as soon as our friends over at the fire department. It's a proclamation of the city of Wichita, Kansas, founded in 1870. Whereas, the Congress of the United States of America has designated the week of May 14th through the 20th, 2023, to honor and pay tribute to those law enforcement officers who have lost their lives in a line of duty for the safety and protection of others. And whereas, our law enforcement officers are the guardians of life and property, defenders of individual right to be free men and women, warriors in the battle against crime, and are dedicated to the preservation of life and property. And whereas, our community desires to honor the valor, service, and dedication of its own police officers and sheriff deputies. And now, therefore be it resolved that I, Brandon Whipple, mayor of the city of Wichita, Kansas, along with the Wichita City Council, do hereby proclaim May 26, 2023, as Cedric County Law Enforcement Memorial Day in the city of Wichita and call upon all citizens to express our appreciation to these men and women who are willing to sacrifice their lives, if necessary, to guard us and our loved ones against all who violate the law. Thank you. Please welcome the Wichita Police Chief Joe Sullivan. Well, thank you, Mayor, and thank you, Sheriff. And that reminds me why I always like to go before Jeff and not after. He's a hard act to follow. But um, welcome, Mayor, council members, county officials, city manager, other guests and dignitaries, including members of the military and my law enforcement colleagues. And most of all, welcome to the families, friends, colleagues of our fallen whose names appear on this memorial especially to the family of Deputy Carter, whose name we will now add to this memorial. We look forward to a day when we can gather here at this solemn place to celebrate the memory of those who have made the ultimate sacrifice without having to add new names to the roll call of heroes. Unfortunately, today is not that day. May is the month during which we remember and honor all of our fallen brothers and sisters nationwide. This past Friday, we traveled to Topeka to remember the sacrifice of our fallen throughout the great state of Kansas. But today, we gather as Wichitans and residents of Sedgwick County to mourn, but to also celebrate the life and the legacy of service of our own local law enforcement officers who have made the ultimate sacrifice. Public servants who gave all they had on our behalf. To the families of our fallen, we want to assure you that we will continue to gather here as a community every year 
to honor the sacrifice of your loved ones. But more importantly, know that we will carry on their legacy of selfless public service and devotion to duty every single day as we continue to serve and protect the people of our city and our county in their memory. And please know that we are here for you today and every day. We are but a phone call away. Thank God and God bless you all. I thank you and God bless you all. Please welcome special guest, Deputy State Director for Senator Jerry Moran, Mike Zamerla. Thank you for the opportunity to join you today on this special occasion on behalf of the Senator. The Senator sends his uh, greetings, his uh, apologies that he's not able to be here personally uh, with you, but on his behalf, uh, I wanted to read uh, remarks that he had entered into the congressional record that he gave as a floor speech on the floor of the United States Senate honoring law enforcement during uh, National Police Week. This week our nation observes National Police Week, which began in 1962 when President Kennedy proclaimed the first Police Week at a time dedicated to pay tribute to our law enforcement officers who died in the line of duty. Kennedy's proclamation stated that during this week, quote, all of our people may join in commemorating police officers, past and present, who by their faithful and loyal devotion to their responsibilities have rendered a dedicated service to their communities, and in so doing, have established for themselves an enviable and enduring reputation for preserving the rights and security of all citizens. Today I rise with my colleagues to honor the dedication and sacrifice of our law enforcement. Over the course of this week, we pay tribute to the 443 officers who gave their lives in the line of duty in 2022. Saturday night, hundreds of police officers, family members, and others gathered for the annual candlelight vigil honoring our fallen officers. Among those memorialized this week are four brave Kansas officers. Deputy Sheriff Sidney Carter with the Sedgwick County Sheriff's Department was tragically killed in an automobile crash while responding to a night disturbance call. We also lost Sheriff Robert Kraft from Marion County, Officer David Engel from the Iola Police Department, and Sergeant Stacy Murrow from the Lynn County Sheriff's Department. We are grateful to these officers for their service and honor and honor them for making the ultimate sacrifice. While the purpose of Police Week is to honor the men and women who made the ultimate sacrifice in the line of duty, we should also remember how these police officers and sheriff's deputies live their lives as husbands, wives, mothers, fathers, and members of their communities. From educating kids in school about the dangers of substance abuse or providing driver safety education, to coordinating neighborhood watch associations and speaking at business luncheons, schools, and community town hall meetings, police officers strive to make our communities a safe place to live and raise a family and work to foster a secure environment. During this National Police Week and throughout the year, we must remember that law enforcement needs our support and not just during the tough times. We should provide them the resources they need to do their jobs, including our full support. We must also give them the tools they need to build and strengthen the bonds of trust with, the, with those they serve, as well as our best efforts to address the underlying challenges that face our communities. As the lead Republican on the Senate Appropriations Committee with jurisdiction over the U.S. Department of Justice, I am committed to making certain our law enforcement officers have the resources and support they need to do their jobs effectively and safely. We honor the service and sacrifice of our nation's fallen law enforcement officers to remember those who have departed and to acknowledge and express our gratitude for the sacrifices of all police officer, of, that all police officers make every day when they wear their badge. During Police Week, we honor those we have lost and we remember the families they left behind. May God comfort them in their time of grief and be a source of strength to them. God bless our police, our local law enforcement officers, and our country. Thank you.
for the roll call, please welcome Wichita Police Lieutenant Chris Henderson and Sedgwick County Sheriff Lieutenant Steve Olson. In memoriam, Carlos B. King, Sedgwick County Sheriff's Office, September 23rd, 1871. William L. Humphreys, Wichita Police Department, February 23rd, 1915. Frank W. Griswold, Wichita Police Department, May 23rd, 1915. William H. Bollard, Wichita Police Department, July 1920. Albert Young, Wichita Police Department, November 5th, 1921. James Robert Fitzpatrick, Wichita Police Department, November 21st, 1921. Charles D. Hoffman, Wichita Police Department, November 25th, 1921. Charles E. Galloway, Wichita Police Department, July 15th, 1921. C. Scudder, Wichita Police Department, November 30th, 1923. Harrison R. Brown, Wichita Police Department, January 5th, 1923. Edward W. Wichita Police Department, April 10th, 1925. Vernon E. Ogden, Wichita Police Department, June 26, 1927. Benjamin Frank Hill, Sedgwick County Sheriff's Office, August 16, 1927. Joseph Earl Marshall, Wichita Police Department, August 29, 1927. Paul E. Gilmore, Wichita Police Department, June 18, 1930. James O. Pugh, Wichita Police Department, July 31st, 1930. Merle R. Culver, Wichita Police Department, August 14th, 1931. Robert J. Hammers, Clearwater Police Department, March 14th, 1934. David A. Kenyon, Wichita Police Department, October 26, 1962. Roy Vance Johnson, Central County Sheriff's Office, October 31st, 1974. Charles D. Meeks, Derby Police Department, May 9th, 1976. Paul Garofalo, Wichita Police Department, November 8th, 1980. Danny D. Laffey, Wichita Police Department, January 5th, 1982. Terry W. McNett, Central County Sheriff's Office, February 2nd, 1988. Christopher C. Willems, Central County Sheriff's Office, May 12th, 1991. Kevin S. Easter, Central County Sheriff's Office, January 8th, 1966. Kenneth E. Snyder, Central County Sheriff's Office, April 18th, 1997. John Jack E. Galvin, Wichita Police Department, November 4th, 2000. Brian S. Etheridge, Central County Sheriff's Office, September 28th, 2009. K-9 Rooster, Wichita Police Department, March 18th, 2017. Robert A. Kunze III, Sedgwick County Sheriff's Office, September 16th, 2018. Wichita Police Department, July 9th, 2021. T.J. Olmeyer, Colwich Police Department, December 8th, 2021. Sydney T. Carter, Sedgwick Sheriff's Office, October 7th, 
This concludes our ceremony. Thank you for coming. And at this time, I would like to direct the families to the north entrance of City Hall to join the executive staff for lunch from Bernard's provided by the Fraternal Order of Police Lodge Number 5. Thank you all. Oh, hold on. No, stand by. That was my fault. Let's close with our benediction. For the benediction, please welcome Cedric County Sheriff Chaplain Lieutenant Clayton Barth. Y'all thought you were getting out here a little bit early. I got you for a few more minutes. I was talking to a young man the other day. He was saying to me that we don't need police anymore, that we morally could take care of this ourselves as individuals. He made some good points, but the one thing that came to mind is, is when I asked him this question, which I think was the, the pinnacle of our conversation was this. I said, if somebody walked across the street to harm me, would he be willing to step in front of them, even if that meant taking his, that he would be endangering himself and maybe even losing his life? Would he be willing to do that? After a very long and drawn out statement, he pretty much came to the conclusion of no, he wouldn't be able to do that. And I said, this is why we still need men and women willing to sacrifice their lives for those who cannot defend themselves. Society is not ready if we are not willing to sacrifice ourselves for the willing well-being of others. And because of this, we still need men and women that receive a calling to run into the very spot that everybody else is running away from. Jesus said, love the Lord your God with all your heart, soul, mind, and strength, and love your neighbor as yourself. All the law and the prophets depend on these two commands. He also say, no one has greater love than this to lay down their life for their friends. And I'm reminded of this. Blessed are those, blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called children of God. Ray Bolt's songwriter wrote this. Fallen but not forgotten. Those, these are the heroes that stand so tall, and forever will we will remember with honor and glory they gave their all. May the Lord bless you and protect you. May the Lord make his face shine on you and be gracious to you. May the Lord look with favor on you and give you peace. Father, we are gathered today here as memorial, but also as a, a moment of honor, Father, that these men and women gave their life, sacrificed themselves for our safety, for our protection. We all wonder if we're going to be able to make that call one day. But Father, these fallen are not forgotten. We remember them today and we thank you for their life that they even gave for our protection, for our way to be at home and be safe. Father, I ask for blessings upon the family and comfort them in this time of mourning. Father, we love you, we thank you, and in Jesus' precious name, amen.